SwiftUI's form view lets us store user input in a really fast and convenient way. But sometimes it's important to go a step further to check the input to make sure it's actually valid before we proceed. Well, we've got a modifier just for that purpose called disabled. This takes some kind of condition to check, and if the condition is true, then whatever it's attached to becomes unresponsive to user input. So buttons can't be pressed, sliders can't be dragged, and so on. Now you can use simple properties here, but anything will do. You can use a complex computer property, for example, or call a method, and so on. To demonstrate this, we'll make a simple form that accepts a username and email address. I'll say in here we have at state private var username is an empty string. And then at state private var email is an empty string. Then our view body. I'll say we have a form with a section inside. We'll do text field username bound its text to dollar username and then text field text with a second T uh, email bound to the text of dollar email and below that we'll do another section saying button create account and when it's pressed we'll say print creating account now in this example we don't want users be able to create an account unless both of these text fields have been filled in. So we can disable the form section containing this create button by adding a disabled modifier to it. We can say this section is disabled when username is empty or email is empty. So disable that button completely if either of those two things are empty, which is exactly what we want. You can see already the button has gone gray. It is not enabled. I'll press Command R now to build and run our code in the uh, simulator just pretty, pretty quickly so you can see what it looks like. Um, so here we are in the iPhone 15 Pro Simulator, loading at full iPhone 15 Pro Simulator speed. Come on, you can do it. Load, please, just like two text fields and a button. There we go. Username, I'll say I am uh, at two straws, still grayed out. Email, so I press one letter, P, Boom, it fills in create account. Obviously, in practice, you might have like a decent email address validation and so forth, but for now, you can see it works correctly, which is great. Anyway, rather than having uh, this here, you might want to uh, spin out your conditions to a, a separate computer property. For example, you might say something like uh, var disable form uh, here is a bool. And that will say, uh, is the username count less than five or email.count uh, less than five? And now you can reference that directly. You can just say, you know, disable this thing when disable form is true. So it's a nicer, cleaner way of working with your uh, conditions here. Regards how you do it, I do recommend you try the app and just see how it works. Try how SwiftUI handles the disable button here, because you can see it goes gray and it lights up straight away in blue as soon as our condition passes.